Hey everyone, my name is Jason Reinhardt. I'm a light painter. Um, I'm a brand ambassador for light painting brushes and coast flashlights. And tonight I'm going to be showing you how to do one of my spiral uh, shapes and hope you will try one yourself. Alright, so the tools I'm going to be using tonight, I have the collapsible light sword from Light Painting Brushes, the Universal Connector, a Coast TX-9R flashlight, and I'll also be showing you how to add some flares into your spiral effect for the G26. The other tool that I'll be using tonight is the lens hood from Light Painting Brushes. These are really cool tools. They come in a lot of different colors, and they allow you to actually either paint the ground, um, in the hood, in the light, it centers it to wherever you pointed at. So you can paint trees, bushes, the ground. Um, they're really neat. I'm going to set my camera to ISO 400. Now I am using a Roken lens, which is also has a manual ring on it. So I'm going to set that to F8. Um, that's a good starting point to bracket from there. Typically I like to up my ISO to try to get some of the environment around me into my picture. What bracketing is, is different light painting tools have different light densities. So what you want to do is compensate for that light by either adjusting your ISO or adjusting the aperture. Now what that does, it either allows more light to hit the camera sensor or less light to hit the camera sensor. Before we turn the lights off, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate what we're going to do with the lights on. So basically I'm going to take the collapsible sword and I'm going to start with my back to the camera like this. It's very important the way that you pivot all the way around 360 degrees till you make it up here. The next tool, the lens hood, I'm going to use to just start painting the ground and add some color into the scene. The next tool I'm going to use is a G26 flashlight. And what I'm using it for is to add flares into the image, pointing it at the camera and turning it on and off. Alright, so now with the lights off, here we go. First thing I'm going to do with the collapsible light sword, make sure that your back is to your camera and start down low. Like this. It's important to pivot on this leg and just transition as smooth as possible. Just keep coming all the way. This one, it's all right to move around a little bit, but you don't want to get out of the frame from where you were spinning the spiral. The next thing is to add some flares into your image. Again, I'm using the G26 Coast flashlight. Just kind of put a bunch of flares in wherever you want. All right. Let's see what we got. Okay, now that I showed you guys how to do one of the spirals, it's pretty basic technique, but the neat thing about it is light painting is endless. I mean, you can add all kinds of different elements into your, into your image. Um, another thing I like to do is after doing a spiral, you can take a flashlight and just kind of paint the ground and do different kind of spirals. You know, you can do different kind of lines. You definitely don't want to hit your camera. You can do stuff like this. And especially if it's foggy out, that's when it really adds a great element to your image. So I would recommend giving that a try too. All right, everyone, my name is Jason Reinhardt. Again, I'd like to thank you very much for checking out this tutorial. If you want to see more of my work, please go to Heartlight at Facebook or Heartlight at Instagram. Get out there and light paint. <laughs> <laughs>